Hey, what up ladies and gents, it's your favorite Asian robot right here, and one day I'll be your favorite synced content creator. Okay, what I'm going to show you guys in this video is how to build the Melee Layla build that is honestly really awesome. Okay, if you haven't seen this on stream, it is brutal. And the best part is that it is free to play friendly, you don't need any legendaries for this. You do ever need gold mods, so access to Mass Drops Plus is very important. If you guys want a guide on how to get gold mods, let me know and I will make a video showing you exactly how to do that, okay? All right, let's get started with this. First and foremost, here's what I want to bring out for you guys, all right? This build works best with Layla because she is a runner that, let me remove my camera while we talk about this, she heals off melee kills as well as gains movement speed whenever she takes damage, so she is quite good. She can also ghost, making herself invisible, and she deals increased melee damage when you use the melee attacks to break invisibility. Honestly, she is very strong at what she does, and she is brutal in combat. That being said, her main role is to actually be a tanker, which you will achieve with this build, alright? What, what makes this build so exceptional? Let's start by talking about the Codex. The Codex has two upgrades for melee, alright? One here, one here. You can get these very early on, I still haven't gotten the second one, but I'm very close to getting it, right? This will give you a total of 60% increased melee damage. Don't sleep on this because guess what? It's going to benefit your ranged attack as well. How do you do that? Well, I'll go through that in the gun section. But, once you have that in your Codex, what you're going to want to have also is the Crusher, because the Crusher, once again, remove cam, it deals, it, uh, in nano arm form, it gives you additional movement and melee attack speed, which is extremely useful, alright? It also has very, very good melee attacks in general, so the Crusher is quite useful for eh, pretty much all your endeavors. Now, what's next on the list? Next, you're going to want to talk about mods, and this is where it gets interesting. The first melee mod is Sickening Strike. It's only available as a gold mod, and it deals afflictions to nanos with melee attacks. Triggering rate is 100%. Get this, none of these mods are maximized by the way, I still haven't maximized them or refactored them for the best stats, and yet this build kicks ass. That's so, what's so good about it, it's so insane. But, you know, it really does, it kicks exceptional amounts of ass. Alright, next is melee range. This one is available uh, early on in the game, but it only shines when you have all the rest to go with it. This one increases your melee attack range at gold by 600% and gives you 75% melee damage. You must have this. Next is Breeze Bullets. It increases your melee damage by 75%, which you want, and it's on a cooldown of 1 second, which will allow you to fire a Breeze Bullet while carrying a melee weapon. Next, Up Close and Personal. Melee attacks deal increased damage against Primes while restoring some of your health. Okay, The best part about this is that the increase in damage is 1.5%, so you deal that additionally, and you also recover 2% of your health every time you strike an enemy. This means that you can literally run this with any of the weapons, False Dichotomy, Butcher's Binary, Twin Sticks, it's really up to you. Okay, I like the Butcher's Binary because they seem cool to me, but realistically you can use it with any of the dual wheel weapons. I highly recommend the dual wheel weapons over the single target or the heavy weapons because yeah, the dual wheel weapons just work better for this type of build. Yeah? Okay. Now, you understand the companions, you understand the mods, let's talk weapons. Alright, as I mentioned, there is no legendary weapon needed, no fantastic gacha. Let me show you. The oh, weapon of choice is a sniper called the Sweeper. Why the Sweeper? Because the Sweeper um, fires three bullets that deal melee damage. Guess what? This gun deals melee damage. It's hilariously stupid, but very strong. Mine is only a tier one, alright? The higher tiers will augment melee damage, so you really want to get it as high tier as possible, but you don't even need it to do that. To accomplish uh, what I'm accomplishing. I've only got it even upgraded halfway and it's still whooping ass. This is how strong the sweeper is, all right? It has additional attributes of range damage, melee, uh, runner melee damage, and runner melee critical damage as you go on the outer ring, so don't hesitate to upgrade your sweeper. It's very strong. In terms of what you can add to it, the scope, keep it as the two times sight, all right? This is the maximum you should go. Um, I didn't like the iron sight, so I left the 2 times scope on. Muzzles, you can do whatever you want here. Grip, do whatever you want. Magazine, I really recommend getting this thing to proficiency 28 so you can get the extended quick draw magazine. Alright, it'll also uh, reduce weight a bit, making it more positive, allowing you to move faster. Alright, that is it for your loadout. Secondary weapon, I chose Sophisticate, but you can also go Whisperer. Basically, choose your pistol of choice. 
Sophisticate works well enough for me. And for your melee weapon, any of the twin melee weapons will do just fine. Butcher's Binary is what I personally enjoy, but, you know, it's, uh, it's really up to you what you want. You can go Love ham you, with babe. any of the dual weapons because they have the same attack pattern. All right. Okay, hey, now that you understand child. the build in on? detail, I'm sure you guys want a combat demonstration. No problem. I will deliver. <laughs> All right, you guys are going to see a short transition. This is the only transition we're ever going to do. All right, and then we're going to get into it. It's going to be a solo run to demonstrate how this build works. And as always, we show this because we know how much you guys love this type of content. All right? Okay. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the demonstration. Okay, we're back with the demonstration section. Once again, I'm just going to quickly showcase to you guys that we haven't changed anything about this build. You can see that everything is there as uh, shown to you in the build segment. Kind of okay, we are now going to go into the Master Ops Plus solo play. Let's go in there. Master Erosion Ops Labyrinth. Call for a special breed of runner. Is that you? Yeah, it is me. 110%. Also, so sorry, I keep forgetting. We, oh, it is set to Asia 3. Huh, why did it take so long? Sorry, the Asia server has a bit of weirdness where it doesn't let you in as quickly as it should. But we're in Asia 3 now, so it should be fine. Um, what I'm going to say is that this will be a thorough demonstration. I'm not going to cut any of the footage, so you can actually see all of it in action, start to finish, enjoy, enjoy the gameplay, because I'm going to talk through it and show you how this is played and done okay but one thing which i'll also say is that if you guys want shout outs and videos make sure to join as a channel member or send super chats and stickers the more you guys do the higher ranking and believe me you get vip shout outs in every video i shout out everybody that supports my channel in these videos so don't hesitate to support if you want to see more content let's bring okay. the party to them in this particular case we have a locust nano with some shield abilities that's all right <laughs> Now, what Layla does with this is she goes around enemy to enemy, kills them all. If they start up with that shield uh, nonsense, I was about to say bullshit, but, you know, loved it, so went with nonsense. All right, you have to target it with your ranged weapon. Now, your sweeper counts as a melee. All right, if you guys know that, then you will know that you can, quite frankly, use it to heal off the primes as well. All right, and also to trigger your melee passive. Okay, so all of that is possible. But what you need to understand is that because Layla is so exceptionally badass, it would be wise to. Oh, they're both dead. Okay, wasn't expecting that. So sink to one, darling. and the other one's totally dead. Hmm. Um. Well, there goes me trying to look cool. Yes. Oh, please. hey. A blue sweeper for free. Sweet. Don't have to pay for upgrades. Okay, triple armor. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't make it out, darling. <laughs> Damn, those guys exploded on me, huh? They didn't even want to give me a peaceful death. Alright. That's okay. Good thing I am so honestly nice and flexible. Yeah. Now, from here, Crush performs kinetic rage. Um, break armor when any affliction is applied. That's really good. It's yeah, perfect. thank you. I That's love beautiful. It. Now we'll break armor even easier. This is exceptionally useful on this build because your melee attacks always apply afflictions. Now we'll go into the cross pod, take that out. Okay, destroy nanos with lasers. Yeah, but no. Um, you don't have to destroy them with the lasers. Just summon your little crusher. And engage in as much melee combat as you can, alright? The lasers are going to hurt, so be very careful with this one. All right. There we go. The thing about this build is that it will keep you alive, but at the same time, you also want to be very, very cautious about how you run it. Don't go to extremes. All right, don't be a nerd, and you'll be fine. Okay. Get your med kits from the cross pod, which is free. Get out there. Now, you want to invest in your armor ASAP. 
Then in your sweeper next. But don't stop buying this, alright? And get your crushes and barbed armor too. For additional stun chance. Can't stop what you can't see. Take it out, darling. Let your crusher go ham and you go ham alongside your crusher. Okay? Don't hesitate to execute, kill, whatever else you need to. Alright, med kits drop like water, so don't worry about that. Extend the timing window to perform a perfect dodge. Okay, that's that. Sorry, I like to have recovery. Destroy that one. Okay, send my pressure to execute. Oh. Look at all these guys spawning. Lovely. Ghosted. Mm. This poor fella's almost dead. I like this build so much because it just does so much. That's like, you just literally... Eliminate everything. It's so good. Alright, onward. We got nothing to worry about. Oh, well, maybe I'll buy another mod on the exchange. Alright. Now, if you're wondering why I'm not going to the cross bots, because they are not necessary for this. If you've got extra time, you can. But again, you don't have to, so... As soon as you go into invisibility, you will dish out extra damage, so make sure you um, go ham at that point, yeah? I've got the magic. Upgrade your sweeper. that you can always reload cancel any of these weapons yeah don't need to feel shy about that Come back to now me. since i've got a bit of extra time yeah, i do want baby. the first spot just in case i get a gold mod you never know what's in there Shoo. let's go let's go oh this is just a slow one that's super easy. I got one of these. Eh, I yes, guess I'll grab please. a deadly tortoise. Let's go. Out we go. Didn't get a gold mod, but any mod is good as an upgrade. I'm still waiting on the break armor mod to get gold. Eliminate all nanos, what are they talking about? Oh, there they are. Okay. Easy. Take it out, Doug. I may not have enough power to complete this solo. I should, but uh, I've got the we'll magic. see. All right, we'll see. Destroy that one. Depends a Show little bit on me. Move. And that's how we do. 
Ooh, powerful enemies are approaching. I've been waiting for this guy. Where is he? There he is. Now, as I've mentioned before, all right, you may want to be very aware of this, but you cannot deal um, extra damage or you cannot heal off uh, these these uh, boss nanos, all right? So because you cannot heal off the boss nanos, you may want to be a bit cautious when dealing with them. You can heal off the adds and stuff like that, but not off the boss nanos. So just be very aware. This is why I do not hesitate to use your guns for uh, the boss nanos. This is this is something you'll have to deal with. But thankfully, your sweeper is a fantastic gun that'll help get you through this content ASAP. We're out of dance partners. Yeah, baby. Okay, objective completed. Now grab this. If you're wondering why I'm going here, just because I want my sweeper maxed. Armor maxed. I think it brings out my eyes. Ammo. <clears throat> you want to get to the next area ASAP? So go, 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 go. Come on! Now this is a bit tougher to do than, uh, com like, solo than it is to do in a team. But more or less, uh, for the most part, you can succeed with this, alright? As long as you have a general idea of what you're doing. But keep in mind that because this one is Mass Drops 2, there are four rounds in total, and you're gonna have to go through all of them, so just be aware of that. Alright, try not to waste too much time. I tend to try and speed myself through everything ASAP. But the melee build is just so much fun. I just love it so much. You just get to go through everything and just absolutely destroy your opponents. So, not gonna lie, one of my favorites. Erosion polyps. Ugly lumps of infected surge. Never seen so many in one place. Take them out before they burst. Erosion won't kill you on its own, but it dulls the senses and causes confusion. And that can be lethal in its own right. Okay. Really tired. Easy. Yes. So remember, you want gold mods is the way to get them, yeah? Ooh, attacks in Morpheus Rage. Sorry, I got distracted by the awesome gold mods. Needed them. Alright, let's go. Now, once you go in with this one, alright, uh, first things first, you gotta understand is Destroy that send out your crusher. You see how quickly the sweeper takes care of this guy? Yeah. That's what you can do with it. So make sure you get that extended magazine as soon as you can. It's so good. If I'm not wrong, I believe you have to go through both phases of the boss fight with this guy. So, uh... Yeah. Can't stop what you can't see. 
There we go. Okay, meleeed him to death. Ooh, gold mod. Yes. I love it. I love it. Mm, mm. Now, unfortunately, for this next one, all you can do is wait. So that's what I'll do. Wait. Because all my friends are heathens. Take it slow. What a nice guy. Find a comments. If you give this man a ride, sweet family will die. Killer on the road, do, 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 do. his brain is squirming like a toad. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Need for speed underground, I swear to God. Okay, eliminate all nanos. Time to rock and roll. Now, I believe for this one, you do not have to focus on the cross spot at all. So, depends on how quickly you want to complete this. Um, out, but basically, just do what you have the time for. I need a little me time. Slash him down. Show them your move. I like to reload cancel with my melee attacks. It's so good. There's the treasure chest. Dig it. So for the sake of this, I'm just gonna go in there real quick, see if there's anything good. Eliminate nanos and melee attacks. This is boring, this is made for me. Can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> ah, lovely. How lovely! Shame it wasn't much, but that's okay. Cross part dealt with at least. Now let's just eliminate all nanos. Excuse me. Where's the uh, 
swear I felt like there's a polyp here trying to kill me, but I really don't see one. Am I going crazy? I might be going crazy, maybe. On to the next. It gave them the Mortal Kombat spine rip. Yeah, baby. Oh crap, Mr. Mud. You can see that there. My bad. Bad my, bad my. Ah, in exchange. Okay, this is where we buy up all the crazy stuff. Um. It's perfect. I love it. Flying fist. Why? Because I just want the additional stuff. Yes, please. Health. Extend the time window. Killing nanos deals damage to the same type. I Killing think it nanos brings gold. out my eyes. Okay. It's perfect. I love it. Okay, I've got my rocket punch and it's upgraded now. All right. Goodbye. Dude seems busy. Huh. I'm not decreasing my his attack damage, lol. Increase crusher recovery speed, and then last but not least, yes, please. shockwave damage. Love it. Destroy that one. Crusher. We need to crash a new party. Do not be do not be wasting my time, yeah? If we have mods to grab, then we are grabbing them. Okay. Looks like we have everything we need. Um at most, maybe one more of these. Oh yeah. Alright. Are we ready? We're gonna go smack the next section. Which I believe is the boss fight. Now, if you guys want to um, avoid the bug that occurs whenever, you know, um, whenever uh, you are picking perks, right? Just make sure you let the game pick it for you. Just let the timer run down. It will not affect your run timer, so you can just do that Time without to rock any and roll. problems. Okay, now we're good to go. Uh, we have a lot of time, way more than I estimated, so yeah, okay. Um, this is gonna be the same fight with the, uh, what you call it? The dude, the Rotor Tyrant, so all you have to do for this one is not worry too much. I don't like the smell. Let go, Stig. Now, because this is a dual boss fight, 
like with all other master ops i highly encourage you guys to uh stay safe it can be very difficult and if it is well this is where you're gonna have to put your skills to the test so make good use of your abilities and uh Avoid most of the damage. Come here, Dub. One thing which you will become very, very aware of is with this build, you can heal anytime off the fact that your sweeper counts as melee. Alright? But just be very careful. You want your nano to also heal up. Okay, don't don't be a fool with this. Because it will hurt you. These guys do hurt and they will be exceptionally badass. Tyrant must die first. Also, fun fact, you can absolutely take out um, those polyps and get your uh, health back. Darling. I am still not sure why they count, but you know, killing them in melee will count as if you're killing a nano. So yeah. You will want to try running as much as possible, but when you need defense, please stay still. So don't be a fool. Just heal when necessary. Get in and out of combat as needed, okay? Low ammo. And those polyps will save you. Be very aware of that. Those polyps are your friends. They will save you, they will help you. Alright, thanks to those polyps, I have lived through so many of these battles. This battle, because you are solo, will take some time, so just be careful of that. Okay. You must kill at least one of these. Doesn't matter which one. What matters is that you kill it. Now, if you do get downed, that's okay, but... Be aware that you only got one revive, so don't be a moron with it. Use it well, and then move on quickly. Once your one down is consumed, you're gonna have to be very, very good actively good at surviving. Okay, use the opportunity to very quickly kill the Eero Tower. I need some help. Oh crap! I'm wounded. No! Ah well, that's a shame. I only managed to I only managed to get to the end. Ah crap, got downed. Sad. I hate the reviver because uh, sometimes the lag with it can get me killed so hard. Oh, uh, what a shame. What a shame. I fell at the end. If I had only killed the Eroder Tyrant, the, by the way, the Eroder Tyrant is the one that will give you the mods, just like the Rusher and the Tyrant in the first one. So, yeah. That was unlucky. It may happen. You know, as you're pushing the power level, it may happen. So just be aware of that. But you'll still get plenty of mods along the way. So, your power level is still going to go up. The dual boss fight is a bit tough solo, but, you know, you can do it. Okay, now, take a look at your mods. We still don't have the armor breaking mod, which is the ideal, but that's okay. 
I often will just chunk in my most powerful mods right there. And this one, yeah, 613. I'll take it since it's the same type. There we go. All right, so that is how to play this build if you want to go through uh, Mass Drops Plus. Again, I actually recommend doing this build with friends. I don't actually recommend it solo because you can unfortunately die. This build will not make you invincible and you do have to be aware that if you're dealing with um, a reviver and the eroder tyrant by yourself, it can be a little bit difficult. So don't, uh, don't sleep on that. This build is strong, but it doesn't make you invulnerable. You are still going to have to work hard. At the very least, get the kill on the eroder early if you can. And then after that, you'll be fine. All right. Thank you guys very much. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. All right. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye. Oh, that's right. We can't go just yet. I got to thank all the top supporters. I often forget that. So before we go, let me thank my top people. And let's see. Under live. So here we are. Okay, our top tipper for September is Big Chungus. Next, we have top super chatter, Alien Frost 80. Our top super chatter list, Hold Aki, King Anubis, River Archer 124. Uh, top channel membership gifter, Nightshade. Thank you guys so much. And in terms of our top peeps, our top channel members, all right, here is a whole list of them that we're going to give a shout out to. Let's go. Starting right at the top again. I owe it to. Big Chungus at the top, only fan level. We've got Death Dawning 982 at Plus Ultra. I've got Jerry Fast, OG, Rogue Assassin, Zack NFG at Prestige. Thank you guys so much. In terms of our honored robots, I thank Corey Ryu, Kashiwa, Bob John, Cube, Devin Lashin, Muki Mocha, Rena, Chase Taylor, Nathan Strong, Nightshade, Lady Neo, Joey Danze, Che D12, Sayed Asad, Kota CMF, Kami SMH, Conrad C, and Benjamin Savage. Thank you guys so much for all the love you share with me. And I'll see you guys on the next one, okay? Y'all stay healthy and happy now. Bye-bye. Oh, and like, share, and subscribe if you like my content.